Hello, dear student. Good afternoon. Today we are going to learn the new topic of apiculture. The topic name is enemies of honeybees and its control. So, as we know, the honeybee colonies are attacked by a large number of enemies because of need the efficient management because to get the maximum honey and its product. And it is important to understand the uh, different uh, practices to learn and to overcome on that uh, uh, this enemies. So some of the important enemies requiring that uh, regular uh, observation and regular attention for the beekeeper. Why? Because the pest as well as some diseases that attacks on this honeybee. So let's see in detail about this different uh, pest and different uh, disease that will that to chances to attack on this honeybees and to destroy its colony, even comb its product. Okay, so let's see. So firstly, here I am showing you the first picture that on slide. The this is one insect. And this insect name is a the predatory wasp, and this uh, two species actually actually this wasp have the many species, but actually on honeybees uh, uh, that uh, destroy by this wasp. And that's why its name is a predatory wasp. The major the damage by this wasp when the honeybees that enter inside the hive or uh, in comb. So that time, this wasps will catch immediately this uh, honeybees and kill immediately. This that means the big colonies may even perish due to this attack because of this uh, predatory wasp is highly destructive and which uh, that uh, uh, chances to number of honeybees they are less and finally this uh, the colony makes weaker. And finally, this uh, weaker, uh, weaker honeybee heavy, it's not possible to get maximum yield, even all the e honey and its product. Okay, so for this to prevent or this controlling of this wasps, need to kill the fecundity where the female visiting uh, in near of the apiary or during the spring season by flapping or burn the nest where that if the beekeepers observe the nest of this uh, wasp, so immediately to destroy during the night time because it's a highly ferocious. Okay, in fire prone places where destroy the nest by spraying them with the other chemical insecticide solution to destroy them. Okay, this is the first pest that uh, attack on these honeybees. Okay, now the same as like uh, another pest also, that is a very serious pest, the name of this uh, wax moth. Here the two types of wax moth that uh, attack on honeybee comb, actually lesser wax man and greater wax man. The species is Galeria, and this uh, wax moth is uh, attack is more that uh, prevalent during the monsoon season, and this uh, damage by this wax moth is uh, to max tunnel inside here. We can see here that webbing and this many larva of wax moth that webbing inside and to make tunnel and feed the content of this comb. Okay, in case of this severe infestation is continuous. So what happened in further brood rearing is totally stopped. And actually this uh, brood rearing stop, the, that means the stop the field work by this worker, even also that there is a chances to Honeybee colony here collapse and maybe that uh, absconding where occur like that the condition occur due to this wax moth. If we need, if we control this pest of wax moth, so there is the some major practices should be followed. So like uh, if there is the cracks where occur or crevices where occur, so immediately close it. There is a chances to enter inside and there is a build up the inc incidence of this wax moth. Reduce the the entrance uh, of heavy, even also that uh, remove combs and uh, not covered by bees. 
okay if the hemicombs is not covered so immediately remove it so there is a chances to that develop even also the keep the uh, bottom if uh, in a uh, way uh, that a uh, board like uh, we use like that this board okay for the building for the build up this colony so if there is the mp so we can immediately remove it and clean it and for the controlling of this pest that needs the factors disinfectant the stack by burning the sulfur at a rate of 180 g per cubic meter or by fumigation by sulfur it gives so there is a chance no chances to attack by this wax moth even after the fumigation the naphthalene flux in the moth proof stack we keep so we, we can reduce the reduce this pest okay so uh, now the next one the like uh, one parasitic mite that is a ectoparasitic mites is damage is also the severe like the previous one so this uh, ectoparasitic mites it's a uh, namely these two types of species that is a varroa mite and uh, tropilapsis uh, species these two varroa mite and uh, tropilapsis these are the two mites are causing severe in case of this uh, honey bee damage and this uh, generally this apis mellifera colony that european honey bees means highly damaged by this pest and if no damage so that uh, occur in case of this uh, apis serena indica and has been many times that reported that this this european mites is highly susceptible to this uh, pest so here this uh, damage occur in the this uh, honey bees this in case of this uh, larva you know also the adult how the mite feeds only on the bee brood okay in case of in severe infestation the mites bed brood is also the thrown outside in the hive by workers and the bee colonies may even abscond if the control measure is not adopted so there is a chances to migrate the colony or that to absconding there be chances okay if this need if this control of this mites required like a uh, two species like already i said that varroa destructor and uh, tropilapsis these are the two so if you control this sulfur dusting on the top bars like we have given on 200 mg per frame and for the varroa destructor so there is the fumigation by using the formic acid at a rate of 50 ml per hive in sponge pads is kept inside and covered with the perforated coffin bag so this might should be controlled in other way the level of mite infestation can be kept low by putting sugar finely powdered sugar at a rate of 30 g per frame and then sipping sugar down between the frame space using the bee brush so this is overall this control measure by to minimize the uh, mites population so now like uh, same as like the pest or insect that uh, attack on the honey bees like uh, the similar similarly there are some diseases also that attack on the uh, uh, honey bees colony so these honey bees are attacked by the large number of diseases which are uh, caused by the many even also in honey bees like disease and other vertebrates also that uh, uh, attack so like uh, frogs and lizard even birds also that attack uh, even like uh, some uh, bee louse other enemies also that uh, bird bee eater okay so this is all kind of this uh, some uh, mammals also that uh, attack on this honey bees and same like this other diseases also that to large number diseases caused by different organism okay and which are like uh, some both ectoparasitic some endoparasitic mites like that okay and this uh, uh, diseases are like uh, different like uh, viral diseases like a uh, sac brood disease bacterial disease like known as american fall brood disease okay and this uh, fungal disease is known as jag brood and stone brood and other one is a protozoan diseases that is a nosemo disease in case of the honey bee okay so uh, sequentially we'll uh, discuss uh, the first one viral diseases that is the first one the thai sac brood disease this uh, sac brood disease is uh, one of the uh, deadly disease of uh, uh, honey bees and actually this uh, honey bee this uh, honey bee disease is a uh, confined the brood when the quite evidently the larva exhibit disease symptoms like that here i am showing you on slide that picture this is the symptoms caused by this virus okay how the symptoms are seen in the early larva stages and death occurs in the either in the la last uh, 
larval or late larval condition or in the pre pupal condition this is overall this some changes occur if the viral disease like sac group disease when occur it infects firstly the multiplies in the tissue in the young larvae and such larvae generally they fail to pupate okay here that totally pupation is absent and but remain stretch on their back okay here and by the extruding their head towards and cell capping so like that the some symptoms that cause in by this sac group disease okay and this become like a larva become scale like even other to the one side of the cell at the bottom even like the infect the pupa irregularly scattered in case of the comb okay and this uh, if the uh, there is a, it comes out or emerges out this uh, honey bee so this becomes as like a adult is a sluggish okay and there is the no foraging activity like that are some symptoms caused by this viral disease okay if this uh, viral disease is to control so firstly some adult population disease colony may be transferred to new uh, or uh, disinfected tube provided with the comb foundation they are fed most frequently sugar syrup and other pollen supplements so like to give the maximum like the fresh food and to build up the a uh, disease free colony during uh, during severe infestation infestation or the combs containing the disease larva may burn may be burnt or to prevent further contamination destroy the colony like that this practices a break in brood rearing either by deep picking uh, deep pinning or by caging the queen encourage the bees to remove infected dead brood efficiently and thereby keeping the infection under control likewise even also the avoid exchange of infected combs and use only sterilized bee keeping equipment in the bee colony like to uh, not to spread by this virus so like that there some practices is need and uh, again to prevent transmission of virus uh, through the bee mites or protozoan parasites like that to would replace or reduce the problem of this viral diseases like that so same like this bacterial diseases also that attacks on that uh, mite so the bacteria cause many diseases in honeybee colony therefore they are uh, classified in the two uh, like the american fall group and european fall group this american fall group is one of the most destructive infectious uh, uh, disease in case of this uh, honeybee and the killing of millions of uh, honeybees uh, in the world it is highly contagious also and even caused by uh, two fungus like uh, uh, bacillus like penicillin penicillus okay and this uh, fungus is highly destructive in case of this american uh, fall brood okay this disease uh, larvae or this is brood is irregularly intermingled mix mix with each other with healthy brood and finally this type of the some symptoms showing okay like puncture here puncturing occur or uncapped okay and finally makes as a paper box here like that to pack in as like, as like a box in case inside this this uh, uh, comb and like the disease brood is initially dull in color dull white in color and gradually changes the light brown to dark brown like that the symptoms caused by this american fall brood okay so this uh, uh, disease if you control so need some management strategy uh like a uh, honeybee colonies would be replaced uh could be placed in the areas okay in the areas rich with the plenty of the nectar that uh, tremendous available of this uh, some forage a uh, flora pollen during the active season so there is a no chances to build up this uh, type of this diseases artificial swarming or shook swarm techniques is should be followed to uh, american fall brood infect colonies during the post honeybee post honey close season some techniques involves transferring the adult bees to a disease free hive followed by destroying the disease brood comb this is also a uh, very uh, ideal technique to uh, control this disease the combs and equipment may be sterilized by fumigation with formaldehyde sodium sulf uh, sulfate ozone like that the some and oxy tetracycline hydrochloride like that this chemical used to sterilization or suppress the disease when fed with the strong syrups uh, sugar syrup 
so like this management it applied this type of the uh, like uh, back disease is not to develop okay so now the next one the fungal diseases also this fungus uh, disease is a chalk boot chalk boot and stone root disease and this uh, disease are highly destructive and which uh, impact the brood as well as other bees and combs and containing stored product also in honeybee colony the most common fungal diseases are to this chalk root and stone root the symptoms by this uh, or that damage by this fungal disease is infect the younger larvae and pre pupae usually locate on the outer fringes and this larva die after the cell capping and turn white followed by the gray and black color on the formation here that symptoms showing okay so white colored by dark black color on formation of this uh, honey bee and larva is grow overgrown by fluffy like mycelia like so very smooth like mycelial growth and swelling of around that honey bees okay so this type of the infected larvae finally dried in the in the hard condition and shrunken with the white uh, chalk mummies like the formation through this diseases very severe diseases like the uh, likewise uh, the previous one okay this is overall this fungal disease and its management by this uh, fungal disease that the uh, weak colonies strengthening the weak colonies by unit uniting adult bees and brood combs periodically renewal of the old combs with the new ones fumigation required by the evacuates by comb with the uh, ethylene dioxide and methyl bromide even also the tca like the trichloroisos cyanuric acid also used to dissolve in water and which, which is very effectively in control of this uh, chalk brood uh, chalk brood uh, disease so same like this uh, fungal like uh, some pro protozoans diseases also that uh, attack these are the either parasitic or this uh, symbiotic on the honey bees uh, that attack and to cause greater losses to the bee keeping industry throughout the country okay so this uh, protozoan disease of honey bees are the nosomosis and this uh, nosomosis disease is a obligate uh, parasite which develops in the gut actually here in inside the intestine gut of this honey bees and which uh, tissues of adult bees and has been known to shorten the life span of the honey bees so which are these major symptoms by these protozoans the bees of this is colonies show restlessness hind wings of this infected bees may be unlocked un unlock from the fore wings okay and there, there is a on a held as a unusual angles that form the infected nurse bees do not uh, produce uh, much more sufficient royal jelly and finally there is the uh, some uh, deterioration of the food glands okay and uh, even also there some glands that uh, destroy by hypopharyngeal glands of the newly emerged adult bees with the uh, with the pathogen like this and fail to develop completely and eventually undergo the atrophy so like that some protozoan diseases uh, that damage occur on honey bees so which are these management practices nosomosis can be managed by or uh, this uh, maintenance of this bee colony strong with the prolific queen required with sufficient food stores required and old combs which are are constant on source of pathogen may be replaced with the new combs fumes of acetic as as acetic acid 60% which is would be the inactivate to the nosomas spores and if you need if you have available to antibiotic or megalin that which are uh, very essential to suppress the nosema bomb nosema infection when the fed to the bees and at the concentration of 0.523 mg per 100 ml ml of sugar syrup the we can develop the strong bee colony in a comb or hive and to get the maximum uh, some product or honey through this uh, uh, different types of this management practices implemented on to uh, conserve this honey bees and to uh, this is free and uh, some pest free purpose this type of, this type of this management practices is essential okay so thank you